What's up, everybody? Back with another one. Today, we got our first guest. Uh, we got uh, Judge GMT. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? So For the ones that don't know what that means, what, what else you mean? The game that we started back in high school. It's a slow game. Me and Lloyd Terrell all play. You know what I'm saying? Just over the scrolls of our, you always got to play Lloyd. First question I'm gonna ask you, uh, what made you get into rap? Cause I know growing up you you were dabbling in it a little bit, but you was always joking around with it. Yeah, um, I gained a passion for music because my mom was used to always having like rap on karaoke and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Rap like certain parts of the song, like rap this part, rap this part. Was you nervous? I mean, I was shy at first, <laughs> and then you know what I said I used to play sports in school, so I, everybody knew me from like sports, so I didn't even want to music. That made it look easy. Then one day, you know, I was like, this. And then when I dropped it, everybody was like, you dropped it. And then I was like, why do I do it? I was like, I love it. I know some people, they be starting out, they just be met, playing around, they have some hungry beats that never come out. Yeah. I just had to ask that question. You got the music out yet? Yeah, I got a lot of music out. I got, yeah, I got two albums out. Okay. I did drop two videos. I've done one like three weeks ago. Yeah. And then I've done one like two weeks before that. So I got like two weeks in the video. So I can get ready to drop one more video. Got them like on YouTube? Yeah, I got them dropped on YouTube. Okay. As you know what I'm saying? On YouTube. You know what the date is to the, the next one that's going to come out? Nah, uh, I don't know the date yet. It's probably going to be sometime at this point, like next week or something. Keep pushing them out. I know. I, you're my cousin, so I know. You're going to train it a little bit. So tell them a little bit about, about, your, about your hoop story. Uh, man, I feel like hooping up like my dad is training. <laughs> I mean, I was good at it, but I feel like he was pushing it more than me. I, I probably got like to a point where I realized I wasn't going to go to the league because they, they said school. I never liked the school. Yeah. I just made good grades to play. So when you got to take the uh, ACT and all that, I, I was like, oh, <laughs> I already knew. I'm like, oh. That's first. I'm already say that. Yeah. Okay. That's the last thing. Who you there? I walked in the court. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. You saying that that being your dad drinking? Like, how hard did he push? Man, he hard. Like, I'm like, man, I don't want to play basketball. Bro. I want to go over here and get with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like through elementary and high school, it was straight. But like when I got to college, I'm like, bro. Really see like how the kids oh, yeah. bro. Mm -hmm. you know, like especially if you're an athlete, you got practice, you got class, you got homework, you got another individual workout. Man, you ain't got time for no job. Oh. Yeah, I learned from playing my one year football. Yeah, yeah. 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 Bro, yeah, bro, yeah. bro too. <laughs> yeah. So speaking about that being your dad's dream, how was how was his reaction to you trying to pursue this goal? Man, he didn't even know that. I thought he found out it was late. Like, I, mean, you know, like, I was still going to school, but I just wasn't like, I got kicked out of the basketball team and everything, but like, I didn't play it until then. But I was still going to school, though. So I, mean, I, was, I ain't going back to school. You done a couple shows before, haven't you? Yeah, I did. I remember I, remember I worked with Walter. I uh, did a few shows. I worked with Walter at Frito, and he was telling me uh, he wanted to show his son, so it makes sense. Yeah, I had no sense. I got a show coming up on. Where it gonna be at? It's here in Melbourne. Bet. Or at the OCC. I don't even. I don't know. It's some building. I'm about to go look for my schedule. But it's down here for sure. So I think it'll be the spring for me. This episode will be out, so I'm sure. <laughs> One Zach know the location. We'll update everybody. I know. I know you from. You grew up in the north a little bit, so. I tell them a little bit of that. Man, the North is just crazy. It ain't, it ain't nothing to do over there, but <laughs> get in trouble. Like, we be mad. Like, we get bored and just be up cracking and like, <laughs> on some bad stuff. Like, we just go on to the other side of town, steal their bike, come make spray paint on. Just, like, we just doing <laughs> stuff, bro. Right. Like, yeah, we've been on a few missions. Man, we just <laughs> yeah. shooting dice, we get old, trying to get the money, or we selling shoes. 
That's the kind of how I was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Side hustle. Yeah, mm-hmm. it just really, that's where you learn how to hustle at. Like, get the hustle bump. Like, you either gonna be there, you gonna start. That's where you learn that. Especially yeah. like in the streets. But on the north side of JB, yeah, right. you gonna, you gonna learn, you gonna get some good knowledge you know, off like that. Fighting everything, I'm talking about like, see somebody walking down the street, 30 seconds, come on, go. You better hear him. Cause he hitting you. Like, oh, yeah. You know when we get older, people ain't fighting no more. So, I adapt to you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah I know how they go. They see you. Yeah. It's crazy. Me and you grew up together, so growing up on East Loop, because, you know, if you were calling myself Hoopers and, you know, wake up every morning, like 10 o'clock, knocking everybody's door, yeah. get the neighborhood together, and we had to park by 11. Yeah. Playing all day about 7. Yeah. Till that, till that, till that light come on. Like when the light come on, you know Pop Show. Yeah, like no Pop Show. Hey, I'm supposed to be there. Man, look, <laughs> we a block over. We straight. Man. I, I don't see him out there before. He coming out there to get Jonathan back when we was out there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he no. stayed coming out there for that. You know your dad sent me to me. He walked up to the park, stand on the hill. He gonna stand right there. <laughs> like, like we supposed to know. Like I think you just watching. Yeah. He did. So no, he gonna get mad. Come on, come on. Like, we sit, we stand there, but you ain't say that. <laughs> That's the one thing I ain't seen nobody do while I'm doing a play walk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, you better come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here, though. <laughs> we, we spent a lot of time at Hope, Hope Street Park, so we got some like, key memories. Yeah, the whole street. We talking about just period, or, yeah, or just, just, just like we? Just period. Like, I ain't gonna put nobody business out there. I'm just gonna read one of mine. Like, they was fucking tag all the time. I would run it, but I would look at the back. You know, you run and look back and see where they at. Yeah. So I turn around, I ran right into the pole with the swing with it. I ran right into the pole. Right. Fell out, bust my eyes. It was the day before school, too. <laughs> the first day of school? The day before the first day of school. <laughs> bust my eyes. Definitely turn some pills on the first day. <laughs> yeah. I ain't want to go, boy. <laughs> I was sick. I mean, what y'all looking at? I was in seventh grade, first year of new school, first day. I'm like, ah, oh, man. <laughs> Bruh. Kind of going back to the whole rap, rap and everything. Um, so, like, traveling, like, shows and everything. Um, <coughs> do you have any, like, areas that we could say that you're going to be at pretty soon? Oh, yeah, I'll be in Miami this Friday. Okay. I'm going to be down there uh, till Sunday. And I'm going to be back here for the show. And after that, I'm going to be in Atlanta. And I'm doing other places. But so you got a little schedule built up for a little yeah, bit. I got, yeah, I got a little schedule. Like, so far this year, I already been to, I went to Orlando, Atlanta, Miami, uh, Memphis, Fayetteville. You get you getting your name out there. Yeah. Yeah. I've been a few a few spots already. I like actually which city you like best performing in? Uh oh, like Fayetteville Live. Fayetteville? Fayetteville Live. <laughs> Fayetteville Live. Wait, what, what 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 the crowd look like? It look like live too. Okay. Look like live too. I, I did my first show in Little Rock at uh, Club Pharaoh. That show was live. But Fanny, it probably was just, it was sold out. It was the yeah. live show. Damn. It was crazy. Uh, what did the crowd look like in Fanny? It was a mix or what did it look like? I ain't gonna lie. It was like mostly Mexican. Really? Like Mexican, but it was like some bad Mexican stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't say. I'm talking about like bad Mexican, like. You know, I know a message that has some pretty face at the skin. Yeah, like, talking about with the, with the dumb yeah. tongue. <laughs> yeah, hey, pretty teeth. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. it was some black people in there, and some white people, but the majority, it was Mexican. It still turned up. It's turned up. I got a thing, they trying to take pictures of everything. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to back. I ain't know it was nothing like that in the area. Bro, shit. Dallas, too. I forgot about Dallas. Dallas. Yeah. Dallas. What's your, what's your city like that fun in? Dallas. <laughs> yeah. Dallas. 
That might go to you. Yeah, I heard, I heard Dallas lit. Dallas is lit. Okay, strip club, strip. Like y'all know how down here we got Main Street. It's a strip, but yeah. like, imagine like Main Street and it's four streets. Like, yeah. Main Street, Main Street, Main Street. Like, right. that, that deep element down there. Yeah. Lit. But I, I love that. I, don't know. I go there every chance I get. <laughs> I've just been like in the past year. Huh? How many times? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I've been twice this year. So, so how old are you? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah. Like when? Uh, how old were you when you had your first show? Twenty. A couple years in. Days wise and everything. Okay. How, how has it been? Uh, independent. Actually, it's a Always it's, it's lit, like, yeah, that's the best part about it. Yeah, but like we first saw it be hard for you know what I'm saying. Like you, you the usual one that you got so resources or support like that. So like you growing, you feel me? Building up connections. Yeah, like now I got a whole management team and everything. At first I didn't have it. It was just me, like recording it, getting it, putting it out, kicking this over the album, and all that. Like it's more than just Back and around the money. Yeah. It's, and it was that simple. Everybody knew it. You got to build a whole brand with it. Yeah. I want to step up and ask you, man. What's, what's the coldest, coldest lines you heard in rap? Because I know you big in music. Right? I got to get some out of that. Who's your favorite one first? Who's your favorite rapper? My favorite rapper? Uh, I say money bag. Two good ones. Coldest line that I probably heard. I ain't gonna say the coldest, but the one that I can think of off the top of my head right now. He said, I looked at my wrist more times now. I was that nigga with all the rapping, you know, he said he was not fine. Everybody was like, okay. Who said that? Uh, Daniel Dorsey, actually. He said it on like freestyle. Y'all got some off, off the top of your head that like it just not off the top of my head. Cause I'll be hearing them and I'll be like, damn. Yeah. That's all the like, like, top of my head right I think of right now. Shit. But I done heard some, some hard as hell. I'll be like, that's that shit right there. Yeah. yeah. I done went back a little bit listening to little Webby and you got some cold ass lines when I'm when I'm listening to him and stuff. Oh yeah. You be sticking out. He has good bars. Yeah, he do. Cause it's just when you when you Rapping is it's different from everybody else. When I got hard on it, it was mostly Lil Wayne. That's when I was like, you know, when See, they Lil Wayne, I got a hard Lil Wayne. Bro. He, he, said, he said, I'm dancing, dancing, my sister dancing, you just crazy. <laughs> I was like, what? Lil Wayne amazed me, man, because I'm just listening to it and I'm like, so he just came out with that out of nowhere. Just probably just yeah. smoking. Yeah. Like, damn. I have a lot of, you know. <laughs> And just listening to him and the way it's flowing, and I'm like, this is cold, this is cold shit right here. Yeah, Wayne got some crazy bars. Like, oh, so I went from like Wayne all the way to now. You know what I'm saying money bag, Don Trip. Yeah. You know what I'm saying people like that. Uh, mm-hmm. listening to them, just really listen to all of it. I'm like, like this, they smart, they cold with it. Yeah. Like with rap now. Back in the day, they used to go bar for bar. Like, yeah. You know, now they go bar and space it out bar. Yeah. So like back then, when they go bar for bar, you don't really just catch everybody. Yeah. Yeah. They said so many bars. Yeah. So they broke it down when they said hard bar, space it out. They said so hard again, so you can catch it. You can tell Lou Wayne probably came over here smoking, like you said. Because I watched a little interview and they threw in some lines at him. He was like, that was me? Yeah. I was like, that. damn. Like, I was like, Oh, so I'm glad you pushed that on yeah. out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, I mean, it is fun, like watching like other people and watch how they record. And, like, it's different from how you record. You can, uh, you take that and you can add it on to your thing. That's how you know, everybody else. Like, you do this a certain way. I better do it this way, but your way faster. I'm like, I don't know. 
my own songs on it, and they, you know. I like rap, but I like to be the producer. <laughs> you know I'm I won't be back there, you know, all that. Yeah, making sure everything is yeah, on the same yeah, line. Yeah, yeah. Put some shit together. Man. I love you. I used to take it seriously. And the time, though, was. Give me a song that that's crazy. Yep, yep. <laughs> Especially if it be hard. <laughs> we just said some stupid things. Yeah. Stupid, man. I don't know, crazy. But, uh, Play this out, uh, what's the name? Lil Dicky? Yeah, I yeah, feel yeah, like that's yeah. how he was when I first started listening to him. I was like, man, dude, was just you know, cutting up. <laughs> then it just turned out to some hits. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I want to know what your writing, writing process was like. Were you freestyle or you uh, pen and paper notes? Well, I'm going to say about seven, six or seven out of ten times, I'm going to hear the beat. And I'm going to like, freestyle a couple bars. I'm going to write it down and go from there. If I'm in the studio already, I'm just gonna freestyle the whole thing. Let's say, for example, I got a song, I only got the hook notes. I freestyle the verse, but then I still got 30 minutes to freestyle the whole other song. Okay. That's what you want right there. It, it just depends. But I don't really like going to the studio, I'm prepared. So like, I, if I want to go do two songs in an hour, I have them both wrote. So I can go in. I record like 10, 15 minutes, and it's already done. That's 30 minutes for two songs, and he mixed it for 30 minutes. So doing two songs in that session pretty easy. Yeah. I get like three songs in the album. Yeah. You get a game then. <laughs> Man. But that's only if it's already wrote, though. If I already got it wrote, I can do three songs. So for everybody listening in, coming from you, what's your favorite song? Like one of your best ones that you, that you like? My song? Uh... Well, I got two. One of them is like a, it's like a real, like a real pain type vibe. It's yeah. called my dog. I ain't got to hear. Right. Yeah, I got one I did the other day. It's called Ain't Geeky. Well, Ain't Geeky for my like, my family. Like, we supposed to be this way. Yeah. <laughs> That's a church song. So I got, you know what I'm saying? And then I got love songs too. So each each genre, I got love songs. Yep, so I don't got just like one. I was, was going to ask you about that. Like, you got any type of love songs, slow yeah, songs? Yeah, I got love songs, okay. pain songs, real songs, hurt songs, freak songs, for your girl. <laughs> all <laughs> type of stuff. That's what I like right there. You got you got all of them. Yeah. You got all of them. When I first started, I was just a rapper, but now I'm an artist. I can just do like all types of stuff. That's what's up. Now, now that you are rapping, like, what's something you learned learning in being part of that, part of that business? Mm-hmm. Especially, <laughs> <laughs> that shit's crazy. Like, say for example, like we cousins, like yeah. I'm already rapping, and you just finna start on me. You feel like saying I'm your cousin, I'm gonna push you on. Hell nah, I had to, I had to grind and get busy. Then I'm not just finna give you my connect. Like I can show you how to get to them, but yeah. I ain't finna just give them to you. So that's why I had to learn. I had to be like, well, my home was around. If I wanna rap, I can just be on tape, bro. Take me to some high end. I don't want like that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, make them go through the hustle like you yeah, did. Yeah, it is. But a lot of people just be handed it. Most people show me, like, oh, well, my homework popping. Let me go. I start rapping. I know you're going to come. Hell no, nah, boy. It don't work like that. <laughs> Everybody wants Yeah. Hey. I feel like now everybody is rapping some sort of, sort of like music and JV now. Yeah, I like a lot of rappers. Not saying they ain't good, but I'm just saying like at first it wasn't a good thing. Now like damn near the whole city people and I ain't saying nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying it, it's a lot of rappers. But could it be there are the genuine ones who want to do it and the bad ones who just kinda of want to do it? I'm saying a little bit of it, it'd be a little bit of both. Like, like pretty much everybody I heard you know what I'm saying, listening to them everything sound like they're ready. Yeah. yeah. You know? It's just like they doing what he doing. They put the work in, maybe, maybe uh, not. You know, uh, you can see, you can see who really like for real, yeah, and who just doing, yeah, you know, like, yeah, you can really see because the ones who for real they gonna be like this, and, and the ones who just doing it for fun they be like this. The gap is just it's just worth it. That's it. You gotta go. For, you gotta go for what you want. Yeah, but I could definitely see somebody just having like you were saying, little dick. I could see somebody doing it just for fun. Just take that one. Take that one song and they 
at all. It be like that though, for real. Like somebody just he been playing with it, he just played against it one time and it's over. But somebody who had the 20 years, he can't even get it. You know what I'm saying? It be like that for real. Then again, he opened up his own like own genre of rap too, so you know. But you know, one thing you need is one song. Yeah. See, they song is three minutes. <laughs> three minutes to change your life. Yeah, it can. Cause after hearing about him, like, I started hearing people he had. Like, uh, like look, ooh, I just want to rock. He ain't even <laughs> saying nothing on that song. <laughs> nah, he didn't say words. But them more like I can't even listen to it. Uh, Bro, he ain't say no word on that song. Oh yeah, yeah. He ain't gonna rock. Like, and it went stupid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I talk. I can't hear that one bar without them to shut it off. Yeah, I hear too much. <laughs> it's crazy. It's three minutes. But I mean, he look Uzi now, but yeah. like if you was to do that same thing, it probably wouldn't do. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. You got it like that. But also, I did notice because I was going back, and you can definitely see when Lil Uzi started noticing what was catching his attention. Yeah. When he first started yeah. coming out, he, he was normal. Yeah, he was normal. And then yeah. what started catching his attention, in my opinion, was like the SoundCloud came out, the rappers yeah. from SoundCloud. All the weird hair and everything, yeah. every tattoo on his face, like everything. Yeah, that's why I like Young Thug though, because Young Thug, he's smart. Like, he started putting like woman clothes and taking pictures. Mm-hmm. Everybody gonna get to making him a trend. Oh, he's gay, he gay, he gay, he dropped an album, it's hard. Shot got each other the motherfucker. Shot got each other like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like Lil Nas, like as much as people don't like him, dude was smart as fuck selling the Satan shoes and lap bands on Satan just because people don't talk. And you can't tell me when the old time wrong road came out, everybody was listening to it. Yeah, then yeah. they hear the little story. Yeah. Then like, I just, that's that's when I really, really, when I really like realized what yeah. what he was really saying, I was like, <laughs> when the story came out, I'm like, I'm like, nah, I'm like y'all gonna slow down on it now when it, you hear the stoplight? That's all you hear. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I used to skip it to Billy Ray twice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Like as much controversy. And like everything, no matter like what you think, like right along how he did it, the man got shock value and the man yeah. got hits. Yep. You can't say the man did not get money. And in my opinion, he that's got paid. Oh, yeah. He got paid. And like, dude will do sometimes, like he's gay, of course, but sometimes he'll be like, oh, I'm about to just switch up and go suck some titties or whatever. Like, he'll just tweet something so crazy. And then, like that, yeah. just, I'm like, I don't even know him really anymore for his music. I know him for. What he tweets yeah, and what yeah. some of his weird, like whatever music video he releases, yeah. like what dude he's gonna ground on or what <laughs> creature he's gonna bring out this time, like <laughs> that's what I know him for now. Making that bread though, I'm like some bullshit. I can't hate it. I can't hate it. <laughs> but it's, it's crazy, like how, how rappers and artists like market it, like how they play it, you know? like anything that's true, like on Facebook, everybody was going that red flag. Rappers drop a red flag, so they just go platinum. <laughs> you said, like, it's crazy. It work like that, man. Somebody who definitely had a good ass comeback story, in my opinion. Because I was watching. Comeback story, you told me to cut his dread and shit out? No, like, just from when he first came in. Talking about the auto tune. Not even that, just like, so when he first came in and got into the game, he was. Unwise that a lot of people trusted everybody, yeah. trusted his whole mansion. Yeah. Had 40 million in the bank. Yeah. Um, next thing you know, gone. The manager was putting that shit in the stupid shit, dumbass real estate, like just not being smart with it. 40 million dollars in that went broke. Couldn't even pay for a happy meal. Like, this was all T Pain was what T Pain was saying. Came back on independent, yeah. made it like that. Switched completely now, plays GTA RP. Oh, he came <laughs> back independent, yeah. Like, cause I don't think he signed with another record. I don't think he, I don't quote me. I think he either has his own or he didn't sign. But he's now got his money back up. Um, sold a lot of his cars. Um, he got like a podcast or something. Yeah, he's got a podcast. He streams on Twitch. Makes hella money off of that. And that shows you also another thing, which I wanted to kind of talk about. Why I respect you being independent so much and you know where his money got. He didn't have it. Right. He had no idea where his money was going. And his manager was stealing. Just like the perfect example, 6 9 
his people are stealing from him for real. So I respect a lot of artists that stay independent and keep all your albums and keep everything. Money goes to you. You know where your money going. And you can eliminate people who are going to bring you down or take advantage of you. You don't want somebody around. You don't have nobody at the higher up saying, no, you got to keep this. That's crazy. I'm glad you said that because when I went to college, I was like I said, I've been playing with music, but I just never did. And I always knew how to do it. I just was like, nah, they ain't gonna be for this. But when I went to college, I actually went for business and accounting. So I was gonna be an accountant. Like, I didn't want them taking money from me. Why not take it from them? But in college, they ain't work out. So I'm like, well. <laughs> oh. But you rapping, you say when you build up a strong fan base where the money just keep coming in. What's some of you looking like for different outlets you might branch out into? Hold on, I'm about to say Yeah, 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 I'm about I think I'm no. gonna act like it. Like, you know, me and T was rapping at first, but yeah. I hear acting. Nobody ain't like that. And that all call you Hollywood, so. <laughs> hey, bro, they call me that to this day, bro. I swear to <laughs> God. Somebody call me right now and I'll answer the phone. When I leave and get to where they at, yeah. they gonna be like, this Hollywood ain't. I'm like, bro. <laughs> yeah. I just got out of podcast. What you want me to do? Yeah. Damn. You gonna get rid of that at this My point? My daddy is Hollywood. Shout out to you. Take Hollywood. I'm like, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds sound like he's proud though. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. He showed me like, send me, send me, uh, you know what I'm saying? Something like one day I had walked in, he had my phone, like, come to Fox TV. I'm like, okay. okay. I think this might be the last question. Uh, you say you're 22 now? Yeah, I'm 22. 22. You just came from Fox, right? Oh, yeah. So, okay. how, how, how is that? Me is just like normal because I feel like I've been gone. I've been really happy to like, take care of a lot of responsibilities. You got a uh, boy or girl? I got a daughter. All right. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I feel like every time something go bad, like, I'll be the one they call. Like, yeah. hey, can you get in touch with this person or can you come over here and do this? So, like, when I had a daughter, I was already in the field moving. Yeah. They're like, boom. So, you know, I still can't believe I got a daughter. So. I think I think they'll be helping us too. Then our first kid as a man, we have a daughter. Yeah. Yeah. And it gave me a little push. Yeah. She was born on February 1st. I flew to Miami probably like a week after she was born. I had did a uh, music video out there. It was a feature. I made 5000 I flew back. I was out there for like six, seven days. So I flew back. And like, ever since she's been born, it was just like her features and videos and all that. It was just been rolling. So it's been crazy, actually. Blow up everything, money wise. What are some things you want to do? Well, I just want to buy a house. You know, like, yeah. like buy some land because we count some of it. So. That's what's up. Do some nigga shit. Yeah, we gonna have. We gonna have, <laughs> I'm gonna have a. I'm gonna have a mansion. That bitch gonna have a box there. And then, right, <laughs> right. That's what I. That it is, man. I like how people do that. They still, still have their self in their house, man. A lot of people get it. They get this outrageous shit. And they never did, ain't none of it in there, you. Like, yeah. your personality is none yeah. of that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's for everybody else that's coming to the house. Not, yeah. not for you. So, yeah. Oh, no matter how much money, I could be a billionaire and just still catch me wearing the same yeah. clothes I wear now, yeah. eating the same clothes I eat now. Come on. I don't care how much money I get. I'm gonna have a box of noodles. I don't, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have some noodles. Yeah. Nah, right. you know, the noodles are there. <laughs> when nobody was there, noodles were there. Exactly. So, so, so when I'm there, noodles with me too. Man, what? Right. 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 Noodles for long as hell. Hey, noodles number one. Noodles, yeah, noodles number, number one. one. I ain't eating for long. I can't eat Hey, noodles got to be first, though. <laughs> yeah, noodles first. first. So I don't feel like the noodles. All right, I got you on the block. Yeah, I, I don't feel like the noodles. I'm going to eat cereal or something. All right. Uh, peanut butter jelly or something. Well, 
So you wanted to buy some land and build on it. So where would you like ideal spot for that? Yeah. You buy multiple or whatever, but what would be your main one, your main location? Oh, where I'd be at, I'd probably say Houston. Probably Houston or Atlanta. Probably Houston because Atlanta got like or whatever, very rapid music. You yeah. know, Atlanta like number one for music thing. I'd probably say Houston and just go to Atlanta. Yeah. Houston. The way to do it. Houston is though, I ain't gonna lie. I might have to check it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You been here? Not, not since I've been grown. No, no, no. I like vacation coming up. I was Houston when I was about 16, 20. It was weird. <laughs> I was talking about a little bad you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I said. Part two. Man, what? <laughs> Listen. That's when you got some black folks over here. Over here. You got a little bit of everything. Hey, you ain't gonna travel, or you just Arkansas, period, and you ain't never been outside of Arkansas, and you found the love of your life. I highly advise you to get out of Arkansas. It's yeah. so many people that don't love Arkansas. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm doing a Christmas gift for my senior young man, pull up, session like 25 or something. Now you want me to pull up. Like, I'm hard now. Like, yeah, now you want, yeah. He gonna, he, he gonna come up off of that too. Yeah, then my homie ended up having a conversation with me. He was like, oh, you know, I said that because I'm fooling or whatever. I'm like, bro, you could just say that from the jump. Like, yeah. you ain't you had to say I, that. I ain't ready yet. Yeah, you ain't had to say that. You ain't trying to tell him, man. You feel me? So that was, that was crazy. But what I realized, like, people actually started paying attention to me. Like, I had walked in the store one day. sound like his sound like when he record like he got some hard sound he know what he's doing but like me person I just wanna say that I wish I respect that too because you admitted his shit sound good yeah but it's yeah, just off the principle of he can't keep it with that like, you, like the lawyers you know what I'm saying like you could just flat out tell him like, I ain't gonna lie my studio here is like you know I'm up and running in a couple months like I don't know but it just run me wrong way because he recorded somebody from my hood you know from my hood put me on him Mm-hmm. I'm like, let me know what it is. He's like, nah, then turn that report in again. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, you didn't know what was going on. Yeah. Like, like, what's up? I want to ask you, though, like, which producer do you feel like you worked your best magic with? Yeah. Hands on. Yeah, yeah I, I've been in there. I got, got the little five. Chill. Chill. Hands on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
I was in there. He, he real nice with it too. Yeah, so. I know him. People got a lot of stuff to say about shit, but me, I ain't, I ain't got nothing bad to say. Yeah, I know him. His family for a while. You could tell him and who he is. Yeah. 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 Ye
Japan for a hair. Bill, one point of this service. I'm going to just come to our business. <laughs> see what I'm like, <laughs> that's what you like to see. That's what you like to see. Like, I can look like this. Yeah, like, and it look like it costs this much. Yeah, but just me, just no, exactly. I wear, you know, like I got designer now my shoes, but you know what I'm saying. I wear like Balenciaga outfits and shit every now and then, but for the most part, I just go to Spencer. Yeah, you know, so it was hard to do. Spencer, they sell it like twenty eight dollars. I got the tag. You bought some jeans. The jeans don't run you because the leather bands are little stacked. You can get like one ten to one thirty, but you only pay one fifty for the outfit. Yeah, yeah. Because I see people doing it all the time where. Like I said, ten thousand dollars, but they only wore it once. Crazy. I'm like, what the hell? I'm remixing. You know what you could have did with that? I'm remixing. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. You know what you could have did with that? Then you only wore it once. Mm -hmm. Nah. And then that's what I'm like. When people do that, I'm like, okay, I get you got a lot of money. Don't spend it like you got a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm sorry, but these billionaires, when you just see them in these plain clothes. There's a reason. They don't yeah. have anything to prove to people. Yeah. That's actually the reason. I, I feel like that's like our culture. Like, we come from, like, you know what I'm saying? You got to know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah like, you right. ain't never had this. So you yep. ain't trying to keep walking around with yep. 20,000 in your pocket. You got a motherfucking hang, great t-shirt. Yep. Like, <laughs> you don't, you don't want to make, you want to feel like you got it. Yep. Like, I think it all starts from back to school shop. That is true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I can't <laughs> Motherfucker ball out when they went back to school. <laughs> yeah, you get to school first day, you're like, ooh, ooh like, damn, real yeah. talk. But I ain't gonna lie though, there's only one thing I ain't doing. If I come outfit head to toe and I take a picture and put it on the internet, I'm not wearing that same outfit. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna wear a pants with a different shirt. Like, like shirt you said, remixing and stuff, yeah. But I ain't gonna wear the exact same outfit again. Yeah. Makes sense. So I ain't doing it. I ain't gonna be capping like I don't be mixing that. I do. I mix that, but I ain't wearing the same head to toe shit. Like, I, I feel you. Man. Cause yeah. it don't feel new. Like it, like you wore the new off there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like you like know you put on some new shoes and you come back to them with a new feeling going. Like, yeah. you feel the same. like you buy some shoes from somebody, they don't feel yeah. new, even though they look brand new. Yeah. I was just telling old when I was going to like when you get the first pair of new shoes. Take super good care of them, yeah. slowly take yeah. them on and yeah. off. About like, and like a while. month. Oh, bitch, it's just I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> the feeling goes. Yeah. You know what the feeling goes. Yeah. As far as your uh, social medias go, what all what all you got? Uh, how uh, can everybody find? Uh, I got uh, I got all social media. My Instagram is Edgewood underscore Tay. My Facebook is Tay McCullough. My snap is Edgewood underscore Tay. Same with my Instagram. I got Twitter. I don't really be on Twitter like that. That's Edgewood Tay as well. Really, you just type in Edgewood Tay anywhere. I want to give some to me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Appreciate you. Come fuck with it, man. I appreciate y'all having me on. Gotta come fuck with us again. It's so fun. Give us a little update, yeah, man. You I'm know. Make sure you go check this shit out, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's, what's going on? After this one, we'll wrap it up. Which song do you, do you want people to go check out first? I say go check out Have My Way, because this song is just me on it. I want y'all to hear my me. Like, I don't need no feature with it. The pop. Yeah. Having my way, that's the song you want to hear. Then yeah, after that, I know y'all don't want to have my way. So get that right quick. This is Beach in Miami. Y'all don't like the video and everything. Same, same with us, you know. Get on there, check them out, YouTube and everything. Like, share, subscribe, and, you know. Go on, get in there. Yeah, yeah catch us on, uh, catch us next time. Never know who might pop up. Appreciate y'all tuning in.